Hey guys, this is Kirov speaking and today we're back in PCM 2020 with Maximus Fantikimus. And he is currently on the la very last stage of the Britain's tour, or Tour de, de Britain. And we have, I have our fitness peak, we are leading everything. We even got the Mount Jersey. And why do I say we got the Mount Jersey? Because it is true and we have already won it unless we crash out but that is not possible because the last stage is a time trial and in PCM you can't crash in time trials a little unrealistic but yeah that's that's how it goes in here um, I'm fine with that I don't like the crashing stuff anyway um, even though it's realistic so uh, we did just get an offer by FDG and that I'm going to check out let's have a look who wants a piece of me I have plenty of peace, if you see what I mean. Uh, oh, actually the highest rated team. Uh, the highest rated team wants a piece of me and it's a very international team and they have some. Ooh. Well, Pinot, nah, doesn't seem to be his actual stats, does it? You know, see, he has certainly not, not been showing that recently. Um, but yeah. Okay, uh, there are some really good names in here. And we have Demar as uh, one of the main sprinter guys. Yeah, seems pretty solid as a team. I would be considering that. Let's just compare to uh, Trek, because that was the one that we were aiming for before. Um, they have... Ah, Nicholo. Okay, yeah. Now that is also a really good sprinter. Even oh, he has some downhill. Holy shit. Some hill stat too. He's actually pretty good. Yeah, I quite like this team too. Good names in here. Solid riders. Nothing super standout from what I've seen here. Average, let's check that one out. 79 and then we have Chicone as well. Um, other than that, they are... Oh, maybe there's one of the unknowns in here. Nah, nothing that really beats these guys. Um, 79. Uh, he's he's quick. He's proper quick. And he's proper quick up the mountains. But I think we might want to join these guys instead. Um, I'm I'm up for grabs for these. Yeah, yeah, that seems seems like a solid choice. They have a very powerful roster. Okay, I think we have found our team. There we go. And again. Of course, it has been so ultra beneficial to have those points of contact, you know, because this game mechanic is so beautifully implemented. <laughs> uh, that was 15 layers of sarcasm on top of uh, a big bread slice that is made from 90% sarcasm. And now we're going to the final stage of the Tour of Britain. And uh, that is a time trial. And we have currently a lead that we're not supposed to give away. That is on the order of... Um, uh, we're not a favorite, of course. But let's not suck too bad, please, at our, our race day condition roll. That would be terrible. Finish in the top 50 classification of the stage. Ouch. So they're going at 180, but that is too high. As too much, okay, so maybe 177. This has still a little bit of prologue length. So if we have a decent race day condition, then we might have a chance. Yeah, 177 is a little too little in effort. Um, he came ninth, 33 seconds behind. And we still have 47, 48, okay. Uh, let's check out the rankings here. So, 1 minute 9, and he doesn't have much time trial. So, let's just pause this for a sec. Who, he would be dangerous. Um, we have a minute 13 on him. He has 74 in time trial. I don't think, uh, oh well, prologue. He has massive amounts of prologue, though. Ooh, if he has a good race day condition, he might be smoking us. Ben Swift, no, not so much a danger. And then... We have... No, he's not a danger. Um, Kellerman. Yeah, he can ride. He can ride proper fast. 
But 130, I don't think he can get that on me. Not on 8.8 .8 kilometers. Unless we roll a minus 6, of course. That might happen. Uh, you never know. Here we have another good indicator. 179. Slightly emptying too much. So 178 seems to be... Oh! 170. Ah, you fucking asshole! Rolling a minus 2 on the final day. Are you kidding me? 78 is what we are going to settle for right now. Let's see. Is this too much? Yeah, I believe so. Yep, slightly too much. 77. And we are riding. Uh, there's the intermediate time coming up pretty soon. And let's activate the wind thing. Uh, we can ride a little harder. And we are how far back? 36 seconds back. Ouch. Uh, Kelderman lost 13 there, but yeah, that's fine. Ooh, Amador just five. That is the one to beat. Oh man. Oh man, this is going to be so close. But we have this optimized perfectly. Boom. Can't do any better. 56 seconds. Ooh. <laughs> we did it. We gained enough time bonuses and mountain seconds to uh, stay up there. Fuck me, that was close though. Um, next. Max Fantic. Oh, hey girls. Want a piece of me? And that is 22 seconds in the end. Yeah, a little bit more of a gap. Cool. Got it. But Kellerman did come up to third, and Amador was the one to watch out for, of course. So now it's all the dick. Just dick everywhere. He slapped it onto the podium. Yeah. Um, also, that is four jerseys. He will feel quite warm for a while. No, Team Ineos took it away from us. You bastards, 14 seconds. Uh, hashtag don't mention the team. Nah, no, this was very solid riding from them. So, cool. Got everything. Got 94 points. Ooh. And the next race is a 1.1 classic. A uh, little wavy. Looks like a lap that is being raced that was in 200 kilometers long. And we are off our fitness peak, of course. So, yeah, my, can go either way. Uh, rain and 16 degrees, not enough to give us a negative bias here. Um, are we the favorites? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, we're close. Be and there we are. Of course. Those there we are. We have a plus one. Whoa! Stock, bro, yo! Yo, mate! What the fuck is going on with you? The second plus five I'm seeing from you in recent times. Doing really well. Uh, let's lock you in, please. And we keep back a little because that sounds like a lot of wind. And the, the wind also means that I'm not going to play any, any games with uh, trying to yo-yo or whatnot. 13 riders up front. Oh, that's a little brutal. They might actually have a chance today. Especially if there's some falls in the peloton and uh, some crosswinds towards the end. Then, uh, yeah, a group of 13 is pretty much perfectly sized to uh, to hammer down the peloton. Or basically put a stick in the spokes uh, on the last 40, 50 kilometers. Yeah, the gap is coming down down reliably they don't seem to be working together there all that well although now the, the penalty is just pulling hard 30k to go that is some brutal pace we're setting here uh, that is tailwind that is why it's hurting so bad and you would be asking like what well, but tailwind you've heard me explain that a lot but still for, there might be some new people um, or forgetful people, or people who dare skip parts of my videos. Um, yes, if you have Tailwind, and uh, now we've caught them, that uh, was the switch over oh, to Headwind. Back. If you have Tailwind, the then the it is more mechanical friction uh, compared to aerodynamic job. drag. And that means that 
within the peloton, you are not as shielded as you usually are. But now things are getting a little out of hand. Why is there a new fresh bunch of SKPs going out there and no one is reacting? That is my question, really. So we're trying to chase them down. Yeah, it's looking good so far. But that is going 90, so he won't we'll last forever. Others have now taken up the chase, though. So it's good. I don't think they are going to last then. Uh, they are going hard. They are going even harder than 95 now. Just trying to hang in here in the tailwind. Yeah, 29 seconds for the free riders. And now, 7 kilometers left, I think I'm going to super leader you. And I'm going to follow you. So, you just go ahead and move 85. 22 seconds, there they are. 6 kilometers left. Oh well, yeah, we got on. them. We Let's got them. There were some good riders in here. Peterson, Tutnik, and... Often happens, uh, I, I don't know him, saddle. but he seems to be pretty solid as well. So now 5.6 kilometers left, and there's this slight, slight ramp uh, before the finish. Nothing major. It's not even steep enough. Uh, another attack going. It's up it to 85 again. And there's more flat. Oh, oh we forgot a bar. 4.2 kilometers out. Maybe it's triggering still. It's a slow-ish finish. So now we've caught them once again. 3k to go. I don't think they are going to get away now. Oh, Buhani's going. That is dangerous. Maybe that's his lead out. So let's go 95. What? What are you doing? Are you fucking sabotaging me? <laughs> Why? Why has he stopped? Why has he stopped doing dot effort? Holy shit. Hey, okay, you, you go sprint then. Come on. Pull, pull, pull. That was bad. And the final very bad. Who's gonna be the very, very bad. Uh, 1.7k to go. We're pulling through. We're pulling through. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Uh, and now we need to go, but we're empty. And, uh, uh, fuck. Uh, no. Stuck. Stuck. Come on. Stuck. Come on. Yes. No. No. Co <laughs> Consoni. Stop you, mate. That is not acceptable. He's going 67 and we are going 56 and... <gasps> oh, that was close. Okay, got the win. But that was a clusterfuck of a sprint. Another win on our list of achievements. Very nice. 15 points only for this because we were expected to win. 51 remaining until our level up that does have stat increases. Um, and now, what is up next? Was it two of Croatia? Yeah, yeah it is. Oh, okay, we would actually be able to use our willpower bonus on this first one. Um, is it worth it? I believe it might be. From a minus one to a plus three, guaranteed. It's a plus four swing. And we have not used our willpower bonuses that much. I know it's broken and you can only do so on the very first stage, um, but yeah, we have two more. Okay, so after the, using this one, we would have one more. Um, I think we're just going to do it. Yeah, let's use it. Okay, go! And race! And of course we are the favorites on this stage, and with the race day condition we are aiming to have here, plus three, we are certainly one. 81 in sprint and 80 in acceleration with a nice flat ending to the stage. Yeah, should be easy enough. Oh, brilliant. Now I clicked the wrong button and he's super leader. Well, that doesn't help right now, but he's not a major loss a because this it. doesn't Will look too to terrible. Too and we don't have any other proper lead out riders anyway. He's not one. So there are four escapees up the road, three minutes on the clock, and this seems to be going very slowly at the moment, uh, riding a leisurely 40 kilometers an hour. Intermediate sprint taken by the escapees, of course, and then there's nothing remaining for the peloton, so nothing will be contested. 
75 kilometers left to go at the front. And the last kilometers are on. Uh, I have everyone to help me out. I don't really need that. I do need to find some decent wheel for the end, or just do it on my own, really. It's probably the for the better. Ah, he is a decent lead out for non sprinting tasks, at least. 74 and flat. That is some pace they're setting. Everyone was maxed there. I activated my uh, slippery eel mode because I was That's a little stuck. The the and and no the breakaway chance. is no more. Eight kilometers left to go. Got to time it right for our bar. Not forgetting about that this time. Only it's five the 5k. Activated. And I do need to get to the front a bit more. This is too far back. Yeah, this is looking better. 3k to go. It's pretty much spot on where we want to be. Um, stay back a little. Oh, they are going already. No, I don't want to follow you. don't want to follow you. I would like to follow you, but... This looks like a move that is way too early, so I'm rather going to hang back a little more. Yeah, this is going a little early. He's going to burn out... Yeah, very soon. So let's see. Yeah, yeah, that is... I don't think that is going to work. Um, but what we can do instead is follow you. And you go at 99. That should be decent enough. Uh, because you are good in the flat and stuff. And there goes the mad burst Two the kilometers out spin. still. Oof. We have our bar active. So we can go long if we wanted to. There's... The downhill coming. Oh, this is beautiful. This is going to work out nicely. Uh, and we do need to go right now with the corner coming there. We need to go. And I think I'm going to take the inside. And, oh, fuck! Got blocked. Come on, accelerate. What? Nothing. Uh, are you kidding me? Oh, the one time I'm not checking out the map, A this shit happens. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, that... That is entirely my fault, but um, it is frustrating nonetheless. Because that was round. completely wasted. It got blocked he hard the there at the start, the line, and then two corners, so we morale. couldn't accelerate. And that was, of course, perfect use of our willpower bonus. Wow, okay, that's very flat. Very flat until it's not. And then we have a few hills, but they are too far away from the finish. It comes to the terrain. So, uh, let's see what kind of race day condition we have today, then. And, course, and that would be a, a minus two. Beautiful. Easy. Yes. Uh, oh, these are actually pretty steep. The second one there is a biter. It's not long. Two and a half kilometers, three kilometers. All right, the escape group has formed. Two minutes and oh, three minutes on the clock. Five riders. Although, I don't think that fifth rider is going to catch them 35 kilometers left to go and we have those two climbs coming up um, still a minute and 30 on for the f those four escapees and the mountain jersey among them uh, what do we want to do for those climbs I don't think anything special because it is 15 kilometers from the peak of the last climb to the finish line so not really an opportunity to do anything And now we're getting into the climb, starting out a little slow, kicking up to um, yeah eight percent, and then back to six ish. Oh, they're going hard. Limited eighty five, and peaking the first one. The pack is putting the squeeze All right, the I'm just going to go dot effort here. Go eighty five. That was not the proper climb, but they just opened up. And I don't want to be left behind in the bunch here. It would be a little dangerous oh, with such a steep climb coming. Well, let's take a better position again. We can always hit our healing ability. Uh, yeah, we're stuck. So let's hit that. Just be safe. Oof, they're going hard. They're going really hard. But no one is getting away. And still 15k to go, so that's not a danger. Ooh, yo, 
yo, yo, yo, that was a danger, though. Uh, fall in the peloton. We just dodged that. Nice. Um, and that took down. Did this took take down a few favorites? Might have. The riding across this climb was hard enough for it to break up, and they are still riding hard. We don't have any helpers in this group. Um, I don't know whom they're riding for. Might be Niklas. 5.7k to go. Let's activate the our bar and get into position. I'm going to do it alone this time around. So just ride 85. Try to stay with them. That's a good spot to be in. Don't get too far. And now check out the map. <laughs> Got fooled, fooled once. Wow. Okay. Good thing we checked because that is crazy. Uh, this is the last bit that is somewhat straight. So if we are looking here, there. That's the corner. That's the first corner, and then it doesn't let up. All right. Um, yeah. Let's go there. So I'm just going to keep 85ing because being up in front here will be essential. Oh so, yeah, our little helper is, <laughs> which we shouldn't have, but we do, um, is providing good cover. And soon we'll be able to just open up the sprint. Uh, yeah, he's not strong enough on our wheel. That's fine. Where are all the great sprinters? Are they even here? Visconti? No. No, 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 okay. Mm. Uh, looks like we should be able to take this one. He's going super hard. And now, I think 1.7. Now, 1.7. It's no wind, it's flat. Uh, 1.5 is where I roughly want to open up. There we go. And now we have the bar. Now that's, that's, the, that's the point. Who's gonna be the first the okay, today? accelerate, 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 accelerate. There, there we go. Yeah, we could have opened up earlier because of all the corners, but that was very safe. Fabulous. And that was pretty good. Thanks for the lead out. That was um, really handy in this situation. Considering how much uh, red we had left over, we wouldn't have needed it necessarily, but our positioning was spot on for this one. So, good stuff, taking a win, and with that we are in contention. Um, no, actually we are leading. And that is 18 points. Still a fair ways away from the level up, which is a shame. So not this episode, it seems. Uh, okay. So that is the guys that are racing today. And I'm not among them. So why? Why can we race this? Very, uh, because we're the manager or something? That's weird. Uh, quick. Simulation. Yes. Simulate. I only ride races that I'm part of. And Betiel takes it. Uh, okay. That is not really expected here. Stamina and stuff does help. Michael Matthews would be more of a candidate, of course. Ah, yes. The mountain stage. This is looking good. Um, this is a clown stage. We shall see about this one. <laughs> I think this will be a clowning stage. There goes. That is a good 11-ish kilometers up to the top. So everyone will run out of resistance. And we will certainly do as well because we have an abysmally small amount. And of course we are not among the favorites. But the favorites have around 77, 78 mountain without any, uh, any bonuses. So we might, if we have a good day, a plus two or something... And we might actually have a chance to take this one. If we don't, then we are going to do damage minimization by just running as efficiently at the uh, maximum possible average um, effort that we can. Yes. And here we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. So we only have 75 today. That is not good. We have no bonus to secondaries because we rolled a fucking minus one. On the most important stage. And this climb is a clowning climb. That's unfortunate. Would have been so much fun. Seven riders up front. That's a decent group going away. A young rider jersey and the mountain jersey among them. 
And now these are just very mild hills in general. Nothing to really fear. Um, yeah, that isn't even steep enough to be counted as mountain. But then we have those little climbs and then of course the big one. And what scares me the most about it is that massive ramp that is leading to it. Where they probably are going to go way too fast and then uh, die on the first like few kilometers of the climb. And that by itself wouldn't be a problem of course. The issue I have with that is that you are basically forced to follow them at that point because it is shallow enough for slipstream still to matter a lot and can't just ignore them like in the big climb which is very steep uh, steep enough to for slipstream to not matter yeah with my 70 limited I think we are saving some amount of energy here you're Yo going back and forth and the escapees still have 2 minutes 30 and this is so important that we're not losing much of our resistance bar here because we're not going to get it back. Not much of it, at least. And now comes the horrid part, which is this ramp that I was talking about. Just 60 riders in this group. And we're getting close to the ramp. We haven't lost much of our resistance, fortunately. Getting very close here. And let's see what happens. What is the appropriate setting for us today. I think it might be around what we have set at the moment, like 75. Maybe slightly higher, 77. It's very steep towards the end. Um, we don't have much resistance. Hmm. Should we go with 77? With so, just dot effort it and see where we go the from there. We don't have... The oh, no, the... Oh, okay. Oh, he is grabbing water. That's fine. Uh, he already has some water. And now, should we super leader uh, Nicholas? No, he doesn't really need it. Oh, mate. Well, it doesn't hurt. So, let's do it. I just need to make sure that we're not getting ass blocked. Oh, Nicholas just hit his butt at full speed. Lost it all. Hmm. Okay, so far so good. Yes, c come on, attack. You you guys need to attack. Ah, there we have some someone attack going. That is good. Oh, there's another potential uh, candidate for being blocking me. Oh, and another one is going. Perfect. Now come, everyone else react as well with a massive burst of speed. Yes, there you go. There you go. That is going to cost you dearly. 6.7 kilometers left to go. Let's see. So we started at full there. Uh, this is less than 30%. So what I'm going to do is up this to 80. Although it is steepening up towards the end. So let's just up it to 79. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Of course, they still haven't dropped me. But uh, that is going to happen very soon if they continue riding at this pace. Yeah, there we have a group going away. Let's see if we're going to catch them again at some point. Nicholas is holding up very nicely. 5k to go. We still have a little bit more than 50% of our resistance. And I do need to use my bar now as well. That will help in reducing the usage of resistance. The seems much too high for many riders. Solid so far. This is looking solid. 4k to go. The group isn't really getting away. <laughs> There's a clown. Hello, Mr. Clown. Now the bar is active. Let's see if we get some more there. Nicholas is about to die, unfortunately. Uh, he lasted for a long time. 2.8k left to go. Oh, another one going. Let's see. He has something left, yes, but... Um, that is not... That is going to be melting away. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> he went way too hard. He had basically the same amount as I had right when he launched his attack and now he's down to half. Um, so I think we just continue riding the way we are. And another one going. Does he have what it takes? Ooh, this is going to be tight. 
I think we can up to 85 now, though. Well, let's see how we're faring with this. Yes. Yes, yes. And there are some cl more clowns. Some more clowns. Let's pass them. Uh oh Can we sneak through here? Come on. There. Yep, perfect. Didn't get as blocked. Uh, 700 meters left. Hmm. I think we can go 95. Or even 99. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Get through there. Get through there. Get through there. And... Yeah, he's a little too strong, but that was perfect. So oh, wow, look at <laughs> <laughs> that, that energy usage. <laughs> it was just spot on. Yeah, we didn't lose that much time. It was just this one winner here who got like 45 seconds, but um, then we came with the next group. So, solid result. Or was it for... No, this was never 45 seconds. That was 15 seconds, right? Yeah, I must have misjudged that because that was really close. Uh, that's great. Because that might actually be time that we've already taken on him through our results. And guess here, no, he gets the leader's jersey. Let's have a look what the results are saying. Same time, 15 seconds. And in the general, we are 11 seconds behind. So is he good at anything else? No, oh, he's actually a decent sprinter. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to get more than 11 seconds on him in the remaining flat-ish stages. Now we are leading in the sprint jersey. Mount jersey, we are in sixth. And young rider jersey in second. He's also a young rider, 23. Yeah, from Colombia, of course. He's a climber, after all. And that's 21 points. Ugh, 12 points missing for the level up. I guess that's the first thing we are going to do in the next episode, after the next stage, hopefully. Um, and I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time. <laughs>